What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we have a fairly rare um, Gemini Jets unboxing as you can see right here. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy this video and you love aviation content. Um, I am almost positive that these are all Gemini Jets. Um, I believe, you know what, we'll just see. Alright, one second. There we go. Okay, let's see what we have in this box. Um, so you have your typical tissue paper right here. And then we have our first airplane which is a United Airbus A319 in the new livery. Now I do know that I already have one of these, but I decided to pick up another one for Denver. And then we have a Delta 757-200. Um, they did just recently start flying to Denver from various other routes. Um, but yeah, so we'll start off with the boxes. I'm not going to go too in-depth of the box, um, but here we have your Gemini Jets logo made for collectors by collectors. And then you have your Delta 757-200 computer generated aircraft. And we have our look inside tab. Here are some facts about the aircraft. You can pause to read those. And you have your aircraft lying right inside. I did pick this up from Amazon for about um, $50 because this is actually fairly rare if I'm being 100% honest. Okay, here we go. So you have your plastic um, covering and then we have the aircraft right here. So let's get into the review. As you can see with the new camera, um, the detail of the aircraft is much more um, vivid. So right here we have the cockpit windows as well as the nose cone right here. And the landing gear, the front landing gear, very well detailed. And then the um, Sky Team livery, I think that is what that is. Then your L1 boarding door with your Delta logo. And then you have your um, first class windows. L2 door, which they sometimes use for economy um, boarding. Then you have a antenna located up here. Then you have a few more windows, and then we get to the overwing exits. And I'll slide the aircraft down just a little bit here. So we have our overwing exits, and then we have the Wi Fi box as well as the all blue engines. And let's see if we can zoom out and get the winglets. So yeah, let me try to focus on the winglets. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Too small. Um, but these are just dark blue winglets. And then right here you have your antenna and the um, delta um, tail or logo. And then your horizontal stabilizers. Um, I am hoping these are metal. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that is metal. Um, for a little bit, Gemini Jets was making their horizontal stabilizers right here out of um, plastic, and it did make the community quite mad, if I do say so myself. But I guess they went back to metal. And then you have your Delta logo and your um, landing gear here at the bottom and your all blue engines and then you have your stand hole also so yeah let's get on to the um, next aircraft here is what the aircraft um, looks like as a whole before we get on to the next aircraft once again we're just gonna do a very quick um, brief overview here we have the Gemini Jets logo and the United Airbus A319 in the new livery um, the computer generated uh, model and then we have the Airbus A319 in text right here 
and the United logo down there. Now let's see what the look inside tab has for us. You can pause to read that. And then you have your aircraft lying right there in the plastic. Alright, so let's open this up. There is the gorgeous aircraft. Take this off. And there's actually no plastic covering on top, which is not good because there could be a paint chip or something. So here is the aircraft. Let's now get in a in-depth review. Starting off at the front um, half of the aircraft, we have the nose cone right here and the um, cockpit windows as well as the Star Alliance logo. Then we have a antenna up here as well as the um, L1 boarding door and the landing gear down there. Then you on your new livery aircrafts, you have a um, stripe that'll go across this entire aircraft and all the way to the back. And then right here it says um, uniting people, connecting the world or connecting the world, uniting people, something like that. That's their slogan. And you have the all united, um, all caps united logo, or just united, on the first half of the aircraft, and your overwing exits on both sides, so there are a total of six. And you have your little walk on the wing right there, if in case of emergencies. And then you have your dark blue engine. Let me try to focus on the engine actually. There. So yeah, you have your dark blue engine right there. And um, yeah, we'll scoot the aircraft forward a little bit. Your registration is N676UA with the American flag. Then you have a antenna, Wi-Fi box antenna and the back door. And then this particular aircraft has the, uh, I forget what they call it, is it the fence winglets? I'm gonna try to focus, there we go. Has the fence winglets, as you can see right there, and your navigation lights on both sides. And then for the tail, pretty generic, or not generic, but as you would expect, um, I would like to give one little shout out to Gemini Jets because with their United tail, they blend it um, better at the top than compared to NG. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned, there's that blue line continuing all the way to the back of the aircraft and then to the APU right here. That does conclude today's review of um, our aircrafts. Here is the United Aircraft um, Airbus A319 in a full picture you can see right there very gorgeous detail and um yeah that is it for the united a319 that does conclude today's video i hope you guys did enjoy if you did please consider dropping a like and consider subscribing to my channel as it means so so much to me and we are so close to 3,000 subscribers and i can't thank you guys so much for the support and I hope you guys did have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Once again, I do apologize that this wasn't an airport update. Um, I just don't have enough functioning airports to do an airport update every Friday now. Because as many of you probably know, um, I am redoing my Denver airport and my Colorado Springs and another additional airport. So the only functioning airport is Honolulu. But I will get those airports out to you guys as soon as possible because I am sure you guys miss the airport updates. Um, last thing, please go subscribe, or excuse me, go follow my Instagram, which is milehigh underscore aviation. I post a bunch of pictures on there as well as updates to my channel and all that good stuff. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a good rest of your day. Bye.